everyone. It's great to be back here with you again this week. And I want to give a shout out to Principal Kwa and the Govins Elementary School team. I had a wonderful visit there yesterday. I started with a fabulous greeting from Ms. Chevelle Smith, um, who was dressed from head to toe in all kinds of sunflower array, including uh, the back of her cell phone cover. So it was a wonderful way to begin my visit. I think one of the things that really struck me in my visit to Govins was the way that the team there, teachers, school psychologists, um, counselors, uh, art teachers, uh, special education teachers, administrators, we're all working together in ways that I know exemplify a lot of what we know our young people need right now, and that is a combination um, of grace and understanding when it comes to the social emotional needs of our young people, whether it's a second grader who has a sudden outburst because of their transition back into school and something that might be happening at home, or whether it is uh, teachers and folks from the community uh, serving as tutors uh, to help young people um, get back on track with some of their learning, uh, most specifically there in reading, but it really was a wonderful visit that exemplified the needs um, of the whole child that so many of you are meeting right now. So thanks again to Govins. Also, um, we know that high quality job training for our young people is important and we got a boost this week with a major contribution from Bloomberg Philanthropies. Uh, for Baltimore City Schools, it means support of the Grad to Careers program, which provides recent high school graduates with free job training to lead to industry credentials and ultimately a family sustaining wage. As a reminder, the list of COVID vaccine clinics, including clinics for our young people who are 5 to 11, can be found at coronavirus.baltimorecity.gov. Click on weekly schedule of COVID-19 vaccination clinics. This week, there are clinics at several of our schools, Belmont, Hazelwood, Wildwood, and Roland Park. The clinics are convenient and free. We encourage families to please take advantage of these opportunities. And finally, the last week of October, we proposed changes to the school calendar. As you might remember, the changes were made to support our staff members, students, school administrators, really everyone who's struggling under an enormous workload. We know that these changes may be difficult for families, especially families with young children, but we know they are needed for our community's health and well being. To see the board approved calendar changes, please visit the district website and click on calendar. Thank you and have a wonderful week.